Thank you. Welcome to the hill. Oh my God, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, we just right here chilling. Another day, another day. You tune into the pull up show. And I got Mercedes very own GP in the building. We outside with it. Where we at right now? We in Merced, man, the West to be exact. You feel me? This the hood. This my hood right here. So you feel me? We at home. We at home with it. Yeah. What's this park called? This is a uh, McNamara Park. McNamara is, Park. Yeah. This is a little community park. You feel me? There's there's a whole lot of parks right here in the West, but this is this is this is where we be at. What was it like growing up out here? Shit, in Merced in general, this shit. It, I mean, it all really depends around the crowd you hung out with. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could have either you know not saw too much or you know experienced some shit out here, but. I was I was part of the crowd that had been seeing some shit out here. So for a motherfucker like me and, and the people that I hung around with, it, it 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 was pretty wild. You feel me? It was, a, you know, you you learn how to grow up kind of fast. You feel me? You, you learn how to fucking uh, you know, hold your own. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's 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 how we grew up out here. I mean, Spark been around here forever. I, I mean, even before my time. You feel me? Before okay, so my when you time. grew up, this park was already here. Yeah, yeah, this shit been here. Uh, yeah, okay. and it obviously looked different too. It looked way different. Uh, yeah, how, how was it different? Like, it, they didn't, it wasn't all nice stuff like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, there was a lot more trees. There was a lot more ghetto than this. But uh, the city uh, invested like 2.2 .2 mil, if I'm not mistaken. They invested some dollars. Into this park? Into the park, yes. Oh, they put, uh, you know, the skate park wasn't there. That was another basketball court. Um, they chopped a lot of trees down. They put turf on the, on the soccer field so the kids can play. Um, they took off a lot of, you know, like little tuck spots and shit. Yeah. And they installed all the cameras and, you know, they made it safer for the community, which was, which was cool, you know. But uh, before that, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was a, lot, a lot more ghetto for sure. When you was growing up, what was the day like out here in Merced? Like, how would your day be? I mean, I had a pretty, uh, a pretty normal childhood. You feel me? Go to school, you know, go out to play with my friends and shit like that. You know, pretty normal. It wasn't up until like my middle school days that I started. You feel me? Actually, um, turning up. Well, I'm yeah, yeah, it up, yeah. Uh, the lifestyle kind of took a turn, and uh, you know, we, we 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 picked up certain habits and certain fucking uh, you know little things to get into, and and after that, it was it was it was it, it, it started getting a little manic. It was you know just a lot of you know run-ins with the law. Um, Running from the law, like type shit like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, smoking, drinking, uh, right going to parties. Yeah. yeah. Do you know just being being outside with the homies? You know, we on bikes with it, going all around town. Uh, you know, just pulling up. You know, to the homies' house and shit like yeah. that. You know, just the average childhood. You know, in the hood. You know. So how long you been out? Are you born and raised in Merced? Born and raised in Merced. Yeah. Born and raised in Merced. Just. Uh, just bounce around from home to home type shit, yeah. you know. But uh, you know, Merced back over here. Though, huh? Merced's home, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is. Yeah, Merced is in the cuts right here. You gotta, yeah, 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 I mean? yeah. Yeah, we off the ninety nine with it. We off the ninety nine with it. It's it's a, it's a small town. Um, our population ain't too big. It's probably like eighty some thousand, and uh, you know, but it get, it, it, it get active when it get active. Yeah. It's active, you know, just like any other little towns. You know what I mean? It, 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 you know, it has yeah, its yeah. moments. It has its moments. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what was uh, the, what was the <clears throat> corner store y'all would hit up as a kid? The corner store. That's by right. Yeah. By right. right. It's a Chevron now. It's a Chevron now. It's down the street. We'll take a trip right there because it's a small community. You know, everybody know everybody. Um, you know, Merced in general, everybody know everybody. Uh, but that's you know everybody's everybody like family today. Uh, you know, you, we got different businesses, but you go to them for so long that, you know, you establish a certain type of relationship with, with the business owners yeah. and the people who run it. So after a while, you know, you're a regular and then, you know, after that, it's, 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 it's good. You know, like you feel at home with it. You know? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Man, I see you got a police station right here, right? In the, next to the park. How, yeah, yeah. How's that like? Yeah, so be, before my time, that, that wasn't there, you feel me? Like that came on, a, you know. I, I, I don't I, I couldn't tell you what it was like like in the yeah. 90s type shit I don't really yeah. you know but um from my from from my OGs what they tell me that it got so crazy like in the 80s type shit that uh that, that they had to put that there you feel me to calm calm shit down out here it was cracking you know 
Um, so when I started growing up, that was already there, you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, from my understanding, it's there, you know, to create the balance, you feel me? Bring the crime rate down and stuff like that, you know? But we ain't, we ain't worried about that. They ain't worried about us, you know? They'll, they'll be tripping off y'all yeah, out here like that? At first they was, at first, you know? I, I don't know if it's because it wasn't something they was used to seeing, you feel me? But once the, the, once the name started going up, it, it, it uh, you know, they was more like, what's going on over here? Why is there a lot of, you know, low? Because we, we throw low events right here, yeah. so, at first. But now now that, that that they know, you know, what it is, like, they don't really fuck with us. We just be doing shit for the community and stuff like that. We do a lot of giveaways, a lot of givebacks. And, and, and you know, we, we just doing this music shit now. Yeah, so, hell yeah. You know, we up out of their way, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. So what about a clothing store? When you was younger, where'd you go get clothes at? What was the spot that you uh, had to hit? The spot, man, I don't know if too much people remember this spot, but we would go to Clothes Avenue. It was a shit called Clothes Avenue back when, when like, Lugs was in style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? The poops, everybody was stopping in the state, Seattle's yeah. and shit. Yeah. The, 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 the fat farms and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, we go to Clothes Avenue or we'll go to uh, Family Clothes. They got a different name now, but this, the store's still there. Uh, the Clothes Avenue ain't there no more. Um, family clothes, everybody go there for the regular drip, you know, Dickies and a white tee or yeah. like jeans, some Levi's and a white tee and some Cortez's or some Chuck's, you know what I mean, just the regular shit, maybe some Air Forces later on in life when we could afford them and shit, and yeah, yeah man, that's, that's, that's just the regular drip with, with, you know, maybe a new era hat or something like that, but, you know, it's the same shit, everybody rocking the same shit, we didn't, we didn't really have too much dough like that to fuck off on, on fits. Yeah. So we kind of had to settle for, you know, yeah. you know the Dickies and yeah. the Chucks. And, Make it last. And, yeah, yeah. But now, now I don't really, I don't really buy my clothes here no more and keep it a honey. I, now I, I go out of town to get my yeah. fits and shit like that. Yeah. Now you can hit bigger spots. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I might go there for like a white tee or maybe a sweater or something like that. But I don't really do my shopping there no more. But that's still the spot though, you know. Yeah. Because, yeah. What about the uh, food spots out here? Where you go? Where you go get some food at when you was younger? Um. Taco trucks, taco trucks, or or, 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 or moms, moms, moms would, she would always have food on the table, you know, yeah. whether it was, whether it was just beans and tortillas, but she had, you know what I mean, we wouldn't really go out to eat like that, um, you know, growing up too, though, like, you know, McDonald's, yeah, that was regular, like yeah, that. what about now, though, like, you come to Merced, what you got to stop by and eat, like, what's, what's one of the, oh, man, right well, here? right here in the hood, we got a, we got a, um, a taqueria, we got a taqueria and some taco. We got, we gonna watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. But there's hell of uh, Mexican food spots. You know what I mean? I'm Mexican, so uh, that's that's all I really be eating. You know, right here off the hood, there's a couple taco trucks, yeah. taco shops. You know, just get something different off the menu every day. You know, yeah. if you ain't eating at home with it. But you know what I mean? That's that's what I like to eat. There's 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 hell of Mexican shops here in in a uh, in Merced, Mexican, uh, Asian food. Uh, all type of shit, whatever, whatever you, you know, whatever you're in the mood for. Yeah. Yeah, you got, the, you know, a little Applebee's and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, Mexican spots for sure. What was uh, some of the craziest, tell me a crazy story you got at this park that you allowed to say on camera <laughs> from back in the days. You know what I mean? Uh, shit, man, a whole lot of shit. I mean, <laughs> you know, aside, aside the real severe, you know, yeah. shit. Man, there's like bitches getting trains ran on here in public and you know all type of like just you know tweaker shit you yeah. know you see all you know like uh, the tweakers be getting off on the crazy shit so you see them doing their thing um people just getting beat the fuck down just any time of the day for whatever reason uh just you know anything can happen in the hood yeah. you know uh yeah you, you just never know what you're gonna see yeah that's ill. So, yeah. how did it feel like growing out here in the valley? You know what I mean? With it being so hot and everything, like compared to everywhere else, like uh, I know because like not, not yeah, not, not weather wise, but just in general, like because now that you're traveling everywhere, I bet you you see the other towns. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Like damn, my town was hella different. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, well, off top, ain't no place like home, you know. So, yeah. uh, but I do have a lot of fun going to other cities and and seeing what they got. Uh, like, like for example, like the Bay. Like, well, we grew up even even since we was little kids. Like, we grew up listening to hella Bay Area artists, and um, not only that, but watching the like, like, like the Mac Dre series, uh, uh, Ghetto Celebrities, yeah. um, Trill TV, TV. yeah, um, shit like that. We was like, 
you know, we was always into the Bay culture. Like, we was always in tune with it. Even when the hyphy era was around, that shit made its way over here. So I remember going to school myself with like, you know, you wearing like a fucking 2X tall tee. Yeah. Motherfucking showing up with stunner shades and like, you know, the crazy outfits and shit going stupid during lunchtime. The parties was cracking, you feel me, Mr. Fab, E40, uh, you know, the mob figures. Everybody was slapping it. It was like the, the, the bay made its way over here, you know? So um, we had we had our moments too, you know? Um, so, but we didn't, re I ain't never really been out there at the time. Then LA too, you know, I always heard LA and music coming from down south, like Snoop Dogg, the, 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 the death row era, um, NWA, the NWA days type shit. Um, LA was always a constant uh, name in the music, yeah. but yeah, I ain't close never. Close y'all too. Y'all just smashed down the ninety nine. Yeah, but we ain't. Never, I ain't never knew I was ever gonna need to go to any of these places. You feel me? And so I started making music. Then when I started traveling more, I was like, oh shit, this is what they was talking about. You know, this is the lingo that they was using. Um, this is the street in that yeah. the name of that song. Uh, and not only that, but starting to see artists that I used to slap or, or even work with the artists that I used to, I used to listen to growing up. Uh, it's crazy. So everybody's different. You feel me? The Bay's different. LA's different. The Valley different. But you know, I, I feel like we all connect in some way, shape, or form through the music and yeah. and the culture. You feel me? Uh, a lot of the shit's different, but a lot of the shit's also the same. You know what I'm saying? We could all we could all relate to one another in some way, shape, or form. You feel me? So that's 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 how it was. And, you know, from my understanding now, it's like the bay's always cold, it's always fresh, yeah. close to the water, same same thing almost in LA. LA get hella hot, it got, it got some spots too, but right here, it's like when it's cold, it's cold, when it's hot, it's hot. You know, you don't really get that in between, yeah. you know what I mean? You either sweating or you freezing up. Yeah, 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 but it's it's cool though, though. We got our little, we got our little, little weather changes. Yeah. When you was young, who'd you look up to? Like, who was the, you know what I mean, the boy out here, you was like, okay. Oh man, the older homies. You feel me? The, the the homie that you just seen leave, I would look up to him. The motherfuckers making money, you know. The motherfuckers that was out here uh, dress dress like you feel me, like a fly motherfucker. While we was you know looking bummy as fuck, we looked up to them, trying to uh, trying to trying to dress like them, trying to be like them, uh, trying to act like them, all type of shit. You know what I mean? Um, the motherfuckers that really uh, that really uh, kind of had us on some positive shit too. You know, you had. We was on some reckless shit. We was on, you feel me? We didn't really give a fuck about much. So the motherfuckers that was telling us to do good and shit like that, when we started getting older, we realized like, damn, this dude really just want the best for me. So we looked up to, uh, to them people too. Uh, the business owners, they'd be like, man, you guys, you know, be smooth. You know, you guys, yeah. you know, you know. Every, we looked up to a couple of different people. The hustlers mainly though, the hustlers. The gang members, yeah. the motherfuckers that, that did whatever the fuck they wanted and didn't give a fuck about it. They're like, yeah, I want to be like that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. How, how much has uh, 12th Street changed since when you was younger till now? It's obviously got a lot safer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it feels, I don't, I don't know if it's just because I'm older, but it just feels safer. But when you was younger, it was wild. Right? It, it was, was anything, yeah. Going, yeah, huh? anything, the whole West. Yeah, the whole West. The West, the West is small. You know what I'm saying so. You know you 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 go in, you go anywhere in, in the West and, and you know you liable to to get into something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so. Some moments you don't even want to come about the house. You know what I'm saying so. But it, it, it I don't know. To me I, I I personally just feel a lot safer. Yeah. Even though it, it may not be, but that's 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 just how I feel about it. I feel like you know what I mean. At least in my head I feel I feel safe as here. It's crazy. It's crazy yeah. how much that changed. That it's, it could be so so high, so dangerous. This where I feel the safest at. Straight up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rather than you know any other place. So, Tell me something about your section, your hood that people don't know. We got a station in our hood. <laughs> <laughs> we got a police station. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Shit, I mean. That's hell crazy. You can see them pull in and out all day. Yeah, yeah. They 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 be doing their thing, but uh. Shit, something they don't know. Shit, I don't know. I don't, we outside. We really outside with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We really, this is really where you can see it. Something you drive by and, and, and we'll be out here. You feel me? Just another day, another day in the hood, really. What was it like? <laughs> what was it like? Uh, what'd you do on the weekends out here when you was a kid? Shit, uh, uh, as a kid. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> 
And so as as a kid, like more like on my on my teenage years, like my high school years, mm -hmm. shit like that. There's a fairgrounds right here down the street, like right across the street. Um, and that's at the at the fairgrounds. They got I don't know how many halls they got. Maybe like uh, I'm just gonna guess like six or eight maybe. But uh, yeah, I would go right there because that's what that's where they would have all the functions at. Yeah. You know all the quinceañeras and the weddings and sweet sixteens and all that. You okay, that? so people spend halls yeah. out and shit. Yeah, she so got the beer. Well, like a lot of a lot of the people in this community, a lot of them, if not most of them, they are uh, field workers. You feel me? They 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 work in the field. So a lot of them they leave here like around three four in the morning. Go work in the field all day. Go work in the fields. So right now when they're coming back like four p.m. Everybody goes right here, they all get a pack of beer or a bottle, and they all go to the park. Just chill, relax. Gloves, play cards, shoot dice. Yeah, just chill, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, that's what I would do as a kid, though. Uh, on weekends, that's yeah. where all the functions is at. Yeah. They yeah. still do that there now, still, or no? Well, since all this COVID shit started, they stopped it for a while. Um, I think they, they got them back open. But I think they still do that. I, I don't know no more, because I don't really be going to them no yeah. more. <laughs> but I don't know. They might still be rocking, or they'll have like little Mexican events right there. Outdoors, I'll go do that shit too. Yeah, or or come to the hood and just drink. Probably just <laughs> just up, come, huh? ask the bums to buy us some beer, let them keep the change. Yeah, that's how it would. And just drink here in the hood. We'll drink forties of like uh, King Cobras, OEs, or Mickey's, or. Sometimes we put all our money together and all we would have was five dollars. So we'll get the biggest taco vodka bottle we can get yeah. with five dollars. We'll share have that, yeah. Share it. And, and that's that's yeah. We drink we drink a lot as kids because everybody drinks. So that's all you really watch that watch people do. It's still the same owner, or somebody just. Yeah, it's still the same owner. So they went from a, they went from a regular liquor store to now the gas station that everybody go to. Yeah, it was a regular liquor store. It was actually this liquor store right here. Oh, look, they got it right there too. Buy right liquor. Okay. So it was hanging on three poles, and I was at the corner, and then you know it eventually grew so. They made it into a Chevron slash buy right. Yeah. And it's the same owner still. Yeah, that's you know, cool. my people, man. You can walk inside. Yeah. Hey, so when you come here, what you get? What show, you know what I mean? That's the GB to go to. Man, you gotta stay for the back for the taste first. <laughs> if I'm gonna drink beer, I'm going with the Ultras now. Yeah, I'm going with these now. I used to drink Modelo and Corona and all that other stuff, but man, as the years progress, keep in mind, I've been drinking for like 15 years type shit. I was a kid, so I had my little issue with them. Now I'm on a mental or whatever they call it. Used to be them a couple years back. Oh, these uh, <laughs> the bottle, well, that was glass back then, though. Too. Oh, yeah, now it's the plastic bottles. Yeah. So it just depends what I'm gonna move for. Sometimes I might just come in for a water or Gatorade, but if I'm gonna drink tequila or, mm -hmm. or alcohol, I'll come down. Tequila's your thing, then. That's what you. Yeah, yeah, Don Julio. Okay. Um, what you chase Don Julio with? Said, oh, squirt, squirt or. You gotta use a square for tequila or like some type of juice, pineapple juice or something. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do right now. Do I want to keep it sober? Uh, I don't know. Or some admire juice. We was out there admire juice for a minute. You know my cameraman admire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had his own little admire juice too. He grabbed this. ¿Qué es el primo? Aquí, aquí no más. And uh. Yeah, just put put it in ice and mix it with that uh, Tito's. Oh, Tito's in that? Tito's in this. You can't even taste the Tito's. That's how you get you so fucked up. You can't taste you just, it. You just chugging it. You just thinking it. like you're drinking this. And, and yeah, next thing you know, you 
God. Taking the dirt. Get some Tito's? You want some? <laughs> 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 Should we keep the Michelob? Ultras. Ultras. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna the substitute ultras. this for the Ultras. I don't know, wow. wait, you, you guys try the Meyer juice? No, I ain't, I ain't really drinking, but I drink a Michelob with you though. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I don't okay. wanna, I gotta say that. That's a Michelob. Come on, there's some Dash food? Nah, I'm gonna like this. I got your ass. We're recording the most notorious gang members in the hood. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Right here. <laughs> hey, I'm down. Hey, I'm down. Hell yeah, I'm down. Hey, I'm Lenny. You niggas know me. What's up with you, dog? What's going on, man? I seen your shit, dog. Your lady's shit, dog. Yeah? Hell yeah, I seen your lady. What's up, yeah? All right. How are you guys? One love. Hey. All right, bro. All right, guys. Who want to carry this one? I got you. Hey, probably after that pack. You see? I got you. You ain't got a nigga that's not even 18 yet. <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> that's scary, bro. That's it. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. We're going to spend the block. Yep, let's go. Yeah, so that's uh, yeah, that's by right right there. Like I said, it changed a lot in appearance and in the inside, everything improved. But everybody's still the same, you know what I mean? That's the typical by right uh, store trip. You know, you go, yeah. you get something to drink. Once you're see done, everybody, yeah. Yeah, you see everybody. You walk back. Once they're done, everybody just back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. You see everybody just walking back and forth from the park to uh to the by right. You know, uh, the alleyways. Yeah, that's the food center right there. This is one thousand. So we got eight of them all. How you know which one's the illest? You just you well for for Mexican stuff. You gotta look for that type. You you gotta crave that type of dish. Yeah. So you go to a menudo spot, right? Uh, you go to a Mexican spot, you ask for menudo. If the menudo ain't good there, like, like, oh yeah, you know not to go there for that. Yeah. So you actually hit. You're like, oh yeah, that's the spot. So this is the spot for sure for menudo. Okay. But, uh, you know, other shit, you look for burrito or some tacos, you know which one to go to. There's a taco truck right here. The taco truck right here. So you go to both one and one, and see, see, see which one to go. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so we got like real landmarks to us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah, no, that's man though. Yeah, yeah, you know, laundry mat, food center, you got all type of shit. You got the Thai cuisine, everybody like to go eat right there too. You know, every, Sam Cuisine, okay. Yeah, Sam Cafe, yeah. What's in there? What, what you be getting in there? I don't really go there because there's a lot of cops that go in there. <laughs> you know, growing up as a kid, but now, now, I like. I don't know. I never really been in there and got food like that, to be honest with you. I I'm gonna have to try it out for sure. <laughs> this is where we come to right here, though. This is the video spot right here. So this is the video taco spot. And like Mexican seafood, like ceviche, mariscos, uh, type of shit. What about studios? You guys got studios out here? Nah, we ain't got no studios that I'm aware of. Yeah. We so started off in the closet, in the garage, hey. in the laundry room. Guy? Yeah. No studios out here, huh? Nah, no studios out here. Not like they do in other towns and other cities. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. your music, so when you started off, you was in the in the closet. You bought everything yourself, or one yeah. of the homies had it. So the way that I started, I would see videos. You know what I'm saying? Of people in their studios. You know what I mean? So growing up, I was like, damn, like I gotta go into one of those to rap. You feel me? So I was like, uh, I never thought I was ever gonna get the opportunity to do that. Because uh, like there ain't no studios around here. Yeah. I didn't know nobody with nothing like that. So the way that the way that, that first started, I don't know if you know like the the little chat mics, I don't even know if you guys ever seen one. 
Like back in the days, you used to have little chat mics with a little cord. You connect your computer, yeah. you can speak in it. Was uh, one of my old friends. He stole one of those from my high school, brought it back, and shot it to me. That's what I started using. Using a software that you know, like the 30-day trials. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll just yeah. download the trials. Use those. Uh, I would get beats off like uh, LimeWire. Yeah. Download instrumentals. Just um, rap on it. And just rap. Yeah, I, I I never had uh you know I ain't never been in an actual studio, or even had like a like a professional condenser yeah. mic, or even Pro Tools, or nothing like that. You know I was just rapping just like that, out of the garage, my mom's garage, uh, a laundry room, uh, anywhere really. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's how I started. So how did growing up out here affect you know what I mean? Your music. Everything that I saw, everything that I saw, you can hear it in my music, you feel me? If you really uh, listen to, to, to my music and dissect the lyrics and stuff like that, you'll be able to picture everything. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just getting it out the mud, you see it like, there ain't, there ain't shit going on for anybody out here, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I found some of your old stuff, right? You was going crazy back then. <laughs> yeah. Like you was going under uh, Insane? Yeah, yeah. Insane, that's the hood name right there. That's that's something so that's a lot of people name. don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's something a lot of people don't know is that, well, our hood's called Ghetto Boys. So, we'll, you know, it'd be like, you know, Ghetto Boy Insane, Ghetto Boy this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, everybody, Everybody's Ghetto Boys. So, once I actually wanted to take this music shit serious, I was like, I wanted to stand for, I want to stand for something bigger than just myself. You feel yeah. me? Like, I want to stand for the whole, for the so whole hood. With GB, you represent the so, whole hood. Yeah, so now it's like, and everybody know, like, this is, that's Ghetto Boys. This is where Ghetto Boys be at, you feel me? In the corner, 12th Street and K, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I basically wanted to put on for the whole community, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you guys are going to shine with me if, if, if I yeah. do, if anything does happen with this. And, uh, yeah, that's where the, that's where the transition in the, in, the, in, 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 in the rap name came about. And I was in the pen with one of my older homies. And I basically, you feel me, he the one that shot it. So we would just like get out there and just, show, you know, let him, let him speak about what we do and how we live, how we grew up, what we saw and shit like that. You know, uh, basically speak for us that, you know, we, we ain't got a chance to speak no more. Or we don't got a voice like, you know, to do that. Yeah. And I was like, man. So Homer said get down pretty much. Yeah, so that's all I'm talking about is just how we grew up, us growing up, um, shit like that. And it's something that a lot of people can relate to. Even a lot of people like, that aren't you know didn't grow up in the same uh in the same shoes as us some people seen it yeah you know what i mean some people are like oh i know what you're talking about like i did see you guys do this or do that or grow up like this or grow up like that or some people are like man i i didn't even know none of that but it's slap you feel yeah. me shit like that so that's how that transition came about uh a couple years back probably like maybe like four years ago or something like that so before you do music how you like to vibe out what you like to do um, if I could go to the studio prepared, I'll, I'll go to the studio prepared. With it already written and everything? Yeah, I'll go with it, with it prepared. But from the moment I started doing music, that's how I started doing it. But as I progressed with it, I got a lot busier. So now I don't even have time to be prepared. You feel me yeah, now? Yeah, so you can go there and vibe out. I, yeah, right? I got no choice but to but to go out, you know, do it on the spot. Or for the longest time, uh, I would do it like the 186.22 album, I think it was. The whole Ghetto Boy album for sure. Those I either wrote on the way, or wrote on the spot, or or whatever the case may be. Um, but if I if if I if I had a choice, I would rather show up ready, you know, just to get straight to work. But these days it, it don't work like that. So what you, you like time. to smoke? You like to drink when you? Nah, nah. I don't. I like to smoke, but I don't like to smoke while I'm rapping because I'm the type of dude that if I get high, I get stuck. <laughs> so I'm like, man, I can't even rap because I'm over here just stuck. But I do, I do like taking a couple shots. I just started doing that shit too, probably like a year ago. I started drinking in the studio. I don't even know why, but I started drinking in the studio. Huh? Yeah, it just, you know, loosens up a little yeah. bit. But before that, everything was sober. Just go in there, rap, and uh, get, a, get up out of there, come back sober. I don't, know if it, I don't know if it's because I had a nine to five before that I, I kind of, I don't know. It, yeah. it, it, it maybe had something to do with it, but now it's just like I go there, I turn up in the studio, record, come back, turn up some more. Or sometimes it'd be some crazy, it'd be a busy week and I'd be like in LA, come back, record, 
yeah. you know, somewhere in the Bay, yeah. then go back to LA. Like, you know, sometimes I just be on the road with it. And uh, yeah, just be like that. So, got some busy weeks. How long did it take you to write your verses? Man, to be honest, now, see, it just depends. You feel it, not too long, maybe yeah. like 15 to 30 minutes at most. Roughly 15 to 30 minutes, yeah. For so sure. now so now you go into the studios to do all your new stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of town and shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always had to go out of town. And that's crazy. I was just thinking about a picture. Uh, I was thinking of uploading it on Instagram, and I, I remember taking it. But I took it because I was like, damn, I'm going to look back at this picture one day. Yeah. And I found it, and I was like, oh, shit, I found it by accident. I remember I was getting off my 9 to 5. I think I was either getting off. I think I was getting off or about to go in or something like that. So I picked up my, I think I was either picking up or dropping it off. My daughter, I used to drop her off at the babysitters. I remember I used to, I used to uh, recycle, like, yeah. when I drink sodas or waters or whatever at home, I'd recycle them. I'd throw them in a the bag. Yeah. After, after I got a certain amount, you take them to the recycling place. And I, we used to have a recycling place right here too, but it ain't there no more. But take them to the recycling place, see however much dollars I could get. Let's say I got like $50. Yeah. I'll pay for like, you know, like gas and like studio time. You feel me? Straight up, uh. Invest it all in that. Hot as fuck. It was like over 100 degrees. Uh, my daughter's in the in their car seat. And I'm just like, damn, over here. Picking up my daughter, dropping her off at the babysitters. Going on my 9 to 5. Uh, scraping up any change I can for the studio time. And beats or whatever the case. Going to work. Going to the studio after work in my work clothes. Cause like that's all like that's all the time I had left, and it, it, it was crazy. I was like the grind was crazy. Yeah. You feel me? Um, I was like, man, there ain't no way anybody. I don't know. I was like, damn, is this what it's like to be a rapper? Like, you gotta work. But eventually, you feel me? Years, years, years of that. It caught on. It caught on, and I'm just like, man, I'm chilling. Yeah. Yeah. I see my brother earlier. Uh, seen him earlier, and he's like, you didn't go to work today? And he's like, wait. He's like, you even work? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I work, but I don't. You know, I'm got a nine to five, but I work. And he's like, how long you ain't been working for? I was like, man, like a minute. And he's just like, damn. He's like, how do you make your money? I was like, music. He's like, oh shit. He's like, damn. So you're really making it happen. Yeah. So he's like, damn, that that little shit you was doing worked, huh? Yeah. I was like, yeah, man. I wasn't doing it for nothing. Do you feel me? We had a vision, and, and, and it's and it's coming it's coming to life. You know what I'm saying? How you pick who you collab with? Really, it's it's just it. Really, it's if they slap. You feel me? Yeah. If they slap. Uh, you know, I, I, I'll try to make my way to them. Well, before, before I've always knew it was an investing game. Yeah. So for those up and coming rappers, like I've always knew, there's a lot of people in your DMs, like, you know, what's up? Let's get one in, or like, um, let's collab. Let's, let's collab. collab. Yeah. Or, I got some shit for you. But you know, you ne one, you never heard of them, which isn't that, you know, it ain't that bad, I guess. But you never heard of them. They got no followers. They got yeah. no views. And it's just shit like that that certain artists we're not looking for. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like make your way up a little bit, and then you feel yeah. me. So I've always understood that. So my approach, even from the gate, from the very gate, was always tapping in like in a business uh, format. You feel me? Like, hey, what's up, bro? Like, uh, you know, uh, fuck what, with your sound. You know, like I, I fuck with your, you know, fuck with your style, fuck with your flow. You know how much you charging for the verse? You feel me? I'm, I'm cash ready or something like yeah. that. You know, approach them in a professional way and. They'll tap back in. They'll be like, yeah, it's good. X amount of dollars for the verse. I'll send them the money or I'll pull up on them, shoot them the dough, and then we'll get to work. You feel me? I've always I've always came out of pocket, uh, invested in myself. You feel me? I could always go to, like, to the homie's closet, but like, nah, man, I'm going to pay top dollar for this studio time that I got to drive out for. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in every dollar I got into this shit. You know, there's times I went broke just investing in myself, but... That's, that's, that's just how I go about it. If I find that it's worth it, dude slap, um, and we could both get something from it, then it's cool. You know, now I'm now I'm just, you know, I'm trying to work my way up the ladder still. Yeah. You feel Who me? do you want to collab with now that you ain't collab with yet? So, you know what I mean? Man, I goals? been, shit, man. Uh, man, I, some people that I've been wanting to collab with, Zay Bang, Lil Bean, them going, yeah. going crazy. Some legends like E-40, Too Short, you know, Jay Stalin. You know, motherfuckers like that, you feel me? That yeah. I grew up listening to. Yeah. Trying to work with them. You know what I mean? Uh, 
You know, that's it, you know, off the top, and that's it, really. But just anybody that's dope, anybody that dope and got a, got a crazy following as well, you know, I'm, 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 I'm more than willing to, to hey, fuck with man, you. Man, I noticed, too, you be doing, uh, you been killing all them ciphers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Fucking, uh, oh, I think that's the homie right here. I think my first cipher was with a, a little bean. Um, the thizzle when I was the there. The thizzle cipher. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, that's before I even knew who you was. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I was brand new to everything at that time. Um, yeah, I didn't know nothing about nothing. Nothing about nothing. I didn't know. Yeah, I remember nothing. you came in there gassing though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shit, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I've always been a lyrical dude, so even when I listen to artists, um, I, I dissect everything. That's just how I grew up. Um, I've always had an ear for music, so one of the main people I blame really for that is Eminem. Yeah, yeah, well, he had a gas Eminem, shit, uh... Eminem is just like lyrically insane, you feel me? So when I, I kind of almost compare people like, damn, like, is he really dissecting his words? How is he putting his metaphors? Yeah, like, what is he talking about? Like, you know, so that's the type of shit that I try to compare myself to. Like, like man, if, I, if I'm gonna go, I gotta go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm more like of a lyricist in that, in that, in, you know, it's a cypher is like motherfuckers want to hear you. Yeah, see they what you got. Some, yeah, let's see what you got. And you metaphor out of that cypher too. Everybody yeah. was like, okay. Yeah. And you, like you said, you was new then too. You was with the big names where it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had to make a point. And even this, this, the Shimo cypher, a lot of people was fucking with it. Uh, Shimo Media. And I got a couple other cyphers going on, but you know what I mean? That's that's how I take those. I'm like, I got to go in there and I got to I gotta make a statement. You feel yeah. me? Cause even then, like when I was in the pen and I would rap for people, you know, the majority of the rap game is black. You yeah. feel me? So everybody in the pen was black. So when they, so when I come, motherfucker like me, like hella small and yeah. Mexican as fuck, you gotta stand out. They're like, what are you gonna talk about? Like, is you even, you know? Yeah. They're like, man, we ain't trying to hear this, you know. But when I come and I'm just, you know, I'm flowing. You feel me? They're just like, oh shit, he's spaz, he's going crazy. You know? So that's that's kind of what I, that's kind of what I like to do. I just like to make a statement, like. If, you know, this is what I could do. Yeah. You feel How me? many bars you be writing on the cipher? You write hella bars, or I don't know. I try to keep it. I try to keep it like at like at 32 bars, 30 to 40. I think this last one might have been like 50, but I want to keep it to where it's not too. A much. motherfucker's attention span is still there. You feel me? Yeah. Motherfuckers be trying to gas forever. It's like, bro, like, all right, man, we we tired of your shit. You feel me? And I want to be too short to where it's like, oh man, you should have kept going. I want to give you just that right amount, you feel me? Keep it in between 30 to 50 bars of whatever I got, you know? And hopefully they fuck with it. Yeah, that's how I, you know what I mean? What projects you got coming out? Shit, right now I got a group tape coming out. A group tape, it's uh... The Red Alert one, right? It's Red Alert. Yeah, Rico was talking about that. <laughs> it's uh, it's me, Rico Too Smooth, uh, Babyface Wood from Yakima, Hecito from Stockton, and uh, Young Iggs from uh, Modesto. So how that came about, it was it was like a, it, I don't know. I just I just kept collabing. Yeah, it we just kept, sounded yeah. so natural. I think that poverty one is probably one that uh, set yeah, it off yeah. too. Yeah. That was an ill ass one. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that keep telling. I don't know if they tell them, but they tell me all the time. They're like, y'all like the new wave, you know? Yeah, what I'm it saying? is. He's like, you guys are like what everybody listening to in the hood right now, around around you know our brown communities. Yeah, shit. yeah, kind of how people were younger, they was listening to the Dark Room Familia. Mm -hmm. Now y'all. Now y'all with they slapping. A lot of people was the dark room. A lot of people was the lowdowns. Yeah. A lot of people was the uh, minority militia, the northern exposures, you know, out of Northern Cali. Um, so everybody's like, now it's you guys. Yeah. And I didn't even see it like that. You feel yeah, me? And so I started hearing it so many X amount of times. I was like, damn, like, are they right? Because I don't want to put myself on on that category because I view shit like that, like legendary. Like, yeah. like, bro, like you guys made a statement in the hood. You know, we grew up listening to you guys. But I guess it's true, you know? Uh, people's growing up listening to us, you know what I mean? Um, and we, we, we what they slapping right now for our people, you know? So, yeah, I guess you could say that. It's like a new wave. Yeah, so that Red Alert, that's a group one. What about a solo project? You got a solo project coming? Yeah, I got one in the works. Um, I had just started it not too long ago, but uh, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna name that one yet. Yeah. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I got one coming for sure, for sure. Within a couple months, it'll be done. I'm not like I, it, I'm, I'm. I had barely started it, so I'm not. Mm. I don't know what it's gonna be called. I don't know. What was the last one you had? You dropped called. 
The last one I dropped was called, uh, what was it called? Ghetto Boy, self-titled. Yeah. That was, and that was presented by Thizzler too, huh? Yeah, that was presented by Thizzler, Ghetto Boy. Um, there's another, the one before that was 186.22. And yeah, man, Ghetto Boys, they good though. Ghetto Boy, Ghetto Boy was a. Uh, I try to go more, like, a little more mainstream with it. Yeah. yeah. So motherfuckers could, uh, could relate to it all the way around. You feel me? Not just, not just like the gangbang type, you feel me, music. Yeah. It was more like, uh, you know, a little something of everything, you know, something for the, something for the females, something you could play on the radio, you feel me? I try to, I try to just be as versatile as I could be with it. And, uh, yeah, it did good. You feel me? It got it got good reactions from from a lot of people that I didn't I didn't expect to listen to it. I was like, damn. I was like, that's crazy. You're the voice of the city right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're giving it an image. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, and 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 it's like it's like people say like there ain't nothing that ever came out of Merced. You feel me? Merced, we're a little town off the 99, and uh, you know nothing's ever nobody ever had a reason to come or. Nobody, you know, ever heard of it, you know? So people that hear about me, they're like, where's he from? You know, Merced. Yeah. So like, oh, okay. So, uh, and a lot of people, you know, I, I brought a lot of people to the hood that I'd be flowing with. They're like, man, your, your hood's dope. You feel yeah. me? The vibe's dope. Woo -woo. So a lot of people here, you know, that grew up like myself, that, you know, never really went out and explored much, they could come here, you feel me? And, and, and you know, get people brought to them. You feel yeah. me? Because a lot of shit we do, you know, nobody's ever done it. You feel me? Yeah, nobody's ever brought you feel me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about the events you throw at the park too. Yeah, so we, uh, we we like to do a lot of give backs. You feel me? Whether it be like, it really depends on the season. You know what I'm saying? So, like every other month in the in the summertime, we do a give back in at McNamara Park right here in the hood. Uh, we're gonna do one for like Cinco de Mayo. And what we really do is we just want to gather the community together. So we'll cash out on some food, you feel me? We'll be barbecuing or whatever the case may be. We'll give away, uh, away free plates, you feel me? Uh, we'll bring like bouncers for the kids. We'll give away like candy bags. Yeah. Um, we'll bring out other artists to sell their merch for people that are fans, for kids that are fans of the community. They'll come and buy their merch, you feel me? Yeah. They'll buy Ghetto Boy merch. You know, Baby Gas will bring us trap hours. Uh, backpack boys bring the backpack boys yeah. uh, you know so on and so forth everybody will bring uh their own merch so the kids can buy the shit and then uh we'll do like christmas giveaways for the kids uh we did one uh with my boy right here uh at the chevron we did it right here at the buy right yeah 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 from the buy right yeah but we set up right here where this little taco truck was and uh gave away like uh toys uh, bikes scooters skateboards for the kids um i do some shit like like in the beginning of the school year i'll be like you know show me to pick two kids from every school i'll be like show me your report card and i'll give you a free pair of jays your size yeah. you feel me a little shit like that so that's or, why you opening the, the shoe store yeah then. yeah okay. shit like that yeah um uh thanksgiving like you know come grab a free plate here at mcnamara park and people will line up and, you know one day we'll give away like clothes and shit like that to the homeless we just like to give back, you feel me? Shit yeah. that, shit that, uh, you know, we didn't really see growing up or have yeah. anybody doing. Yeah, yeah. You, that, that's dope though. So you pretty much just, you seen that what other communities was doing in big towns too, and you was like, I'm gonna do it here in my city. Exactly. I'm gonna set it up out yeah. here. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's really what it is. You just kind of got to be the change, you feel me? Because if you don't do it, nobody else is gonna do it. And there's everybody, everybody doing it yeah. in their cities, in their sections, in their hoods. But, you know, you get to thinking like, damn, ain't nobody ever done that here. Yeah. You feel me? So, you know, we we, we, we we definitely made a statement with that. Yeah, that's dope, man. Yeah. That's big. Yeah, for sure. What would you tell yourself, your 15-year-old self, with everything you know now? Man, I would just say keep going. Because uh, 15 was a rough age for me. I was getting in a lot of trouble. Um, you know, just... It, it, it was it was it was it was, uh, it was a lot going on, and I remember you know I remember, I remember those nights, uh, hopeless and shit like that. You know. Yeah. I would just be like, man, just keep going. You think it's gonna pay off? It's all gonna work so, out. Yeah, huh? so, so if the same shit going on for you, so my boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, 
Yeah, I would say the same shit, you know? Just keep pushing, them better days is finna come. Just keep grinding. Don't listen to what the fuck anybody's telling you, because there's a lot of people in your ear talking about, I ain't never gonna work, or look at him, he's still trying to do that shit, or ain't nobody really, you know, ain't nobody really believing you till you actually do it. Until you start making money off it. Uh... You start making money, you start, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, they look down on me uh, as a kid, because they're like, that little kid's a troublemaker, you feel me? He ain't got nothing going for himself, you yeah. feel me? And, I, and I, that was true, though. But the vision that I have is the vision that I've always had. He's like, nah, I'm gonna do this shit someday, bro. I'm gonna this get it. Up. I'm gonna get a store in the hood someday. I'm gonna get some money someday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. So that's it. The vision's always been there. Now it's just making it happen, huh? Now, yeah, it was just, you know, growing up, you feel me? You can't really dodge your childhood. Nah. You know, if trouble's there. It's there, you feel me? You're gonna make some dumb decisions growing up, but that's how we learn. <laughs> yeah. What are some obstacles you faced in the music game? Being Mexican. <laughs> Being Mexican. A lot of people, at first, that was, you know, like I said, a, a rap game is a black sport. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just like, if you were to get a white rapper, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna be looked down on or underestimate it, you feel me? Yeah. And especially, you know, like there ain't, there ain't really a lot of Mexican rappers. So, I, just don't know I felt that was an obstacle, yeah. you know, to gain a, certain people's attentions or certain people's respect in the rap game. You gotta work twice as hard. Yeah, we gotta work twice as hard. Just to prove ourselves, you feel me? Like, yeah, we could do it too, you feel me? Uh, but yeah, that's probably the biggest obstacle, really, just, just trying to trying to uh, trying to kick that door down, cause you know, yeah. at first they ain't trying to let me in, like they ain't hearing me out, they ain't fucking with me. It's like fuck it, just keep going, keep going. You you know, they gonna see you eventually. They gonna hear you out. Now that you traveling more, which place got uh, which place in Cali got the best Mexican food? <laughs> Probably like L. A. L. A. L. A. For sure. They got the smacks. They got yeah, and it's it's usually those side of the road. Uh, the taco shit, trucks, huh? The little stands and shit. They oh, got them yeah, the sidewalks. They do. Oh, they, they cooking for you. Yeah, that shit, fire, because they're so close to the border to, yeah. to Mexico. And then I've been to San Diego too, like right where the border at. But that shit more like nice. I love San Diego. San Diego is beautiful. It's hella nice, but L. A. L. A. The, the best Mexican stop for so, sure. Yeah. Cool. So what's next for GB? Man, this year, shit, open up the store, see see where that's going. Uh, more music, more content, more work, you feel me? Just trying to get more into the business now. Um, you know, just, I'm, 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 I'm really taking it as it comes, but uh, shit, if all goes well, you're gonna see, you know, you're gonna see a lot of me, you know, more ciphers, more videos, more music. I'ma just keep going until I can't go no more, you know? I'ma keep, uh, you know, hopefully finding that window of opportunity to different things. Just trying something different out, you feel me? I might end up doing some, you know, getting into some shit that, you know, will work out for the better, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know, maybe get tied in with the city and do something big for the city or something. Build a studio um, out here? Build a studio out yeah, here? Yeah, maybe build a studio. You know, we're trying to do it all, man. We're trying, to, we're trying to really make a change right here, for real. What about shows? Have you done shows out here? They don't be doing shows out here nah, like that. Nah, so, no, yeah, so there's a venue, but it's it's, it's, it's difficult for uh, for rappers, you know, for rap just because of the, of the whole scenario, yeah. the rap scene. They don't want to deal the with that. The city don't want to fuck with that. Um, so we was doing one when I first started rapping. Like, once I started rapping, I started, I started kind of popping right away. So they was doing one at the fairgrounds and they had a big lineup. It was like Nefta Pharaoh, Young T.O. I was on the lineup and I was, and I got booked for it. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the city had to cancel it because uh -huh. all the bad publicity it was getting a whole bunch of shit, like gang members yeah. posting all, yeah. And that thing would have been lit too. Yeah, that shit would have been lit. And I was like, man, I'm gonna be on stage with all that, that's crazy. Not with him, but performing with him type shit, you feel yeah. me? Yeah, being on so, the same bill, that's it. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be backstage and shit, but, uh, yeah, that shit didn't work out, but, uh, you know, hopefully, I mean, we got a UC here, we got a lot of shit here, we got a, a JC, uh, uh, 
junior college, we got a university. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids here that, that, that aren't from here that just come here to go to school. So I'm pretty sure they're also looking like, man, what's there to do out here, you feel me? So hopefully we can get some shit like that, you know, have them something to look forward to. Um, yeah, just have some shit like that, that'd be dope. Hell yeah. For sure, we gotta holler at the promoters. You know, we got the venue, you feel me? Just a promoter really gotta make it happen. Yeah. Tell us something about GB that they don't know. Oh uh, man. Something that y'all don't know. The same one would have been good too, but uh, I already did. <laughs> uh, um shit, man. Well I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a productive motherfucker for sure. You feel me? I'm a I'm a workaholic. I like to work a lot. Like, you feel me? I like to stay busy. Um I'm a jack of all trades, man. I, I I I spent a lot of time locked up, so I learned to do a lot of shit. Like I learned how to draw hella good, like real life portraits and shit. Yeah. I learned how to cut hair hella good. Okay. Yeah, like I was always the barber everywhere I went. Yeah. Like when I got transferred to different prisons, I'll be the I'll, I'll be the clipper guy. I'll be fading motherfuckers up on the yard, whatever. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So like, I mean, I'm 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 I, I could do it all almost. You feel me? I could do a yeah. lot of things. I'm a productive motherfucker, you know, I like to stay busy for sure. So they want to find your music on iTunes, Spotify, what they got to look up? Just two letters, GB, you feel me? Uh, look up GB, look okay. Look up GB, uh, and on any platform, Spotify, Apple Music, um, anywhere. But uh, I, on IG, yeah. IG is uh, ghetto boy dot official. Ghetto boy, we spell it without the A's, we spell it ghetto, G-E-T-T-O. Um, so yeah, ghetto boy dot official. You'll find me on Instagram, you feel me? And usually that's where that's the main platform that I'd be posting on, you know, on the stories and, and, the, and the timelines, just, you know, what what's next, you feel me? I'll post a flyer, the next event we're having, the next video that's going to drop. I, that's that's my little source to give out information, you feel me? So that's where you can find me at. And this is where you can find me at. Yeah, McNamara Park, Mac huh? McNamara Park. West Versailles, come yeah, on. Yeah, and we always working, we always working. Like, don't get it. Don't get the misconception, like, you know, we always working. We up and down the road all the time. But whenever we don't, you know, whenever we got a day off like today, we like to come to the hood where we're always welcome. We're a familiar face. You feel me? Whether it be a card game, a dice game, some horseshoes, basketball, or just socializing, just, you know, just coming out here and having a beer or something like that. We always here, you know, we always in tune with, with you know, with the businesses and, the neighbors, you see what I'm saying? Like everybody getting dropped off right now. Yeah. Everybody about to go get a beer, you feel me? Shit like that. And we're barely getting into the spring right now, so in the summer it's way more popping. In the summer, this should get lit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're gonna lit. come back for your uh Cinco de Mayo event for yeah, sure. Yeah, we having a an event Cinco de Mayo for sure. So you guys pull up for sure. You guys gonna see the difference of what it's like on, on a regular weekday and what it's like when we get it cracking for sure. Hell yeah, anything else you want to let the camera know? Nah, man, just, uh, you feel me? This is my hood, you feel me? Anybody always welcome to come through, slide through. And, uh, you feel me? You know where I'd be at. Block shit, that's what this stand for. This is this, this community. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do it for. The pull-up show. This young mug, bro, Jack, behind the lens. Westbound yeah. ENT. Shout out, bro, Jackson. Shout come out, Mark, man, for hey. pulling through. Let's go. Shout out y'all, for real. Eee!